Welcome to our last broadcast of 2021. We have a tremendous lineup for you today. So grab your hot cocoa and put on your ugly Christmas sweaters and let's get into it. This Thursday, Calm is having their holiday meeting right after school in Mrs. Bonacorsi's room. Learn how to manage stress during the holidays with food and a rant circle. All are welcome. Culture Interest Group is hosting a meeting from 250 to 340 on Thursday, December 16th in room 182. Snacks will be provided and all are welcome. This meeting will focus on Pakistan and Pakistani culture. Please contact Ms. Shurenstein for more information. On this day in 1773, the Boston Tea Party took place. Colonists dressed as Native Americans threw 342 chests of tea owned by the British East Indian Company into the Boston Harbor to protest tax on tea. In 1770, Ludwig Beethoven was born. He would become one of the most well-known composers in history. In 1980, the founder of KFC, Colonel Sanders, passed away at the age of 90. In 2013, Jameis Winston became the 79th Heisman Award winner after throwing for 4,000 yards and 40 touchdowns in a single season. We have quite the senior spotlight for you today. Let's bend and snap right into it. I'm Ballet was a little bit too strict on like the gender roles and also like what was expected of you as an artist. Like there's a much more defined line that you have to kind of follow to be successful in ballet. And so, I kind of wanted to branch out and do something a little bit more acrobatic, a little bit more adrenaline inducing, and that was how I found circus. I do aerial straps as well, so once a week I'll do like a strap lesson with my coach, and that is something that's really hard, and so there's like one move called like a low switch, where you are hanging by one arm, and then you swing down, and then you go up to a move called a meat hook. Um, it's kind of hard to describe just sitting here, but that's a move that I've been working on for over a year to get. It takes a lot of strength, a lot of oblique strength, and core strength specifically, also from your shoulders. So that's probably a move I'd be most proud of. The holidays have us all feeling very sentimental, and we have quite a few stories on them. Let's look at some holiday movies, traditions, and break plans. Um, I usually go to my grandma's house for Christmas Eve, and then I stay home on Christmas Day with my mom's side of the family, and then I usually go on a trip after that. Um, my family usually goes to Canada to visit our relatives, but um, this year we're not. We're going on a cruise. Uh, we usually go to my mom's house, and then we just open the presents up over there whenever we get it. So like my, all my brothers and sisters keep coming up over there. And, um, yeah, that's it. Um, usually we have family come over and we all cook food and celebrate the holidays together. We either watch a movie or go out and see the light show or something. But the original one. Polar Express. Uh, my favorite movie is The Night Before Christmas because it's great. Kind of my favorite birthday. Uh, I don't really celebrate Christmas, but uh, Polar Express probably. Uh, Die Hard. My favorite movie is The Owl. Um, my favorite is Polar Express. Liam, Danny, and I ran around the school asking what you guys are doing this holiday break. Let's go check it out. Um, I'm going to California to visit my cousins. Probably just going to my uh, family's house. Um, I'm 
I'm going to hang out with friends and family and bake some cookies and watch some movies. Uh, me and Danny are going to Detroit and taking cute pictures in front of the Christmas tree. Um, I'm not completely sure, but I think we're driving to Texas. And we're going to go to the Grand Canyon after, I think, too. Um, yeah, to see family. Uh, my holiday plans are going to see my family in New York and just hang out with my friends, too. I'm going to my grandma's house and we're going to bake and decorate cookies. I'm going to her house. Yeah, she's coming to my house. This holiday break, me, my mom, my brother, and some friends are going to Las Cabos, Mexico. Thank you so much for tuning in to the last Cat Sound News broadcast of 2021. Make sure to stay safe over break by wearing a mask and using plenty of hand sanitizer. And have your elf a merry little Christmas.